Welcome back guys to my let's play of Runaway, a road adventure where we left off. We are trying to make some coffee for the doctor. Since heaven forbid the janitor doesn't get off his lazy ass to go get us some coffee packages for the lady. It's frustrating. He is like totally useless. I swear if he pops up somewhere in this game early and I have to save him for some reason, I don't care if it ends the game. I am not saving him. No. Not one bit. Um, anywho. So I figured out what I'm supposed to do with the coffee beans. I went through a guide. Just because I'm kind of getting annoyed. What we need to do is we need to use... There are some... I don't know if it's in here. Essentially we need to grind the coffee beans. Um, like, as I... I think I mentioned before in a different let's play, I do not drink coffee whatsoever, but I know for a fact I have to grind these coffee beans. Um, there's a way to grind these. I thought it would be in here, but no. I'm guessing it's in the, um, either in here or the Mayan art. Basically looking kind of like a grinder. Um, I think what they're called. My mind goes to mortal, the mortal, and mortar and pestle, I believe they're called. But I'm not seeing anything similar. Oh my god, this is a disaster! What in the world is that? I don't like that. I'm fine. Can we use the coffee beans? Can we just give her the coffee I don't beans? Think she's interested. Is coffee? Maybe she should like eat that. them. Ugh, whatever. Okay. So let's see. Oh, this thing. This is, God, this, is a disaster. this is what they mentioned to use it on. I might be able to use the lathe to grind the coffee beans. That's what it is. I sure okay. Fine. It worked like magic. Now this coffee like stuff has been ground. Guess what? I, I know what we need to grab next. I bet you I know what it is. Can everyone else guess? Sorry, I sound a little cheese. I don't know what I'd need uh. for. Uh. Can we just combine that this? Work. That doesn't make sense. Oh, it makes sense to me. It makes sense to grab that empty. Oh. I don't know what. I don't know why I'm so determined for this stupid. Little coffee cup thing. I think the little red light. Um, let's go talk to the jan, or let's show the janitor the grind up coffee and be like, "What now?" I guess. Willie, here's some coffee so you can refill the machine upstairs. Mm. Dude, are you sure this crud is coffee? Yeah, of course it's good coffee. I buy it in bulk. No, man, I'll pass. It's not that I don't trust you, dude, but I don't want any trouble. I'd rather use the job I normally pick up for the machine in case I get busted. Ah, <sighs> just beat him with it. <laughs> Anywho, okay. So, since this doesn't okay. work. Uh, let's go get now it. That I've ground it up, it should pass for coffee. Yeah, but you need to put it in packages, or he's not gonna put it in the frickin' coffee machine. Hence why we need to pick up this thing. If he picks it up now, I am going to be grumpy. All right, it may be just what I need. It's empty, but I can still smell coffee. You can see my face right now. You know my face. Oh, <laughs> this game. Okay, I'm fine. I'm okay. I've been asking him for the past couple episodes to pick up the goddamn coffee package. Ugh, combine A and B. Okay, start pouring. 
Whew, that was just the right amount. Now it looks like a brand new package of coffee. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Now we're going to throw this at Willie. <laughs> Willie, here's some coffee so you can refill the machine upstairs. Dude, this is the brand I always use. Yeah, baby, this is right on time. See, now I don't have to go out tomorrow and buy some. You are one cool dude, mister. Weren't you telling me you needed a battery? I'm taking one out of my groovy walkman right now and giving it to you. No, give it up. I don't need him anymore. You don't want it anymore? Hey, it's up to you, guy. It's the thought that counts, isn't it? I'm going to go fill up that junky coffee machine right away. And I'm going to go beat you with... A this Willy guy is an unusual character. T-Rex bone. Let's see if I can finally take this rich aromatic coffee to the doctor. I'll just wait one little moment so Willy has time to refill the machine. I'm just gonna break his broom and his okay, let's thingy go. machine thingy whatever and the bucket. I might as well and oh. <sighs> I could have had this solved if he would have picked it up earlier. And let me pick up all the items I needed. But no! It's working now. The red light is off. Oh. Okay, let's use okay. this goddamn thing. I'll just get one. I hope it's nice and strong. Can I'm curious, can he drink it? What can he drink it? No, clearly not. Okay, let's get into this laboratory. Throw the coffee at her, cause give her something else to do rather than smoke Here, two doctor, cigarettes. Have some coffee. It'll make you feel better. Now that's better, isn't it? Come on, you can start working again now that you've calmed down. We wouldn't want the Mayan exhibition to be canceled because you didn't finish your work, would we now? Of course not. I'll get to work immediately, and no one's gonna stop me this time. Not even the feds. Munchkin Bob. I see you haven't grown much in the past few years. If it ain't Gustav, my one-eyed pal. It looks like the eye they ripped out of you hasn't grown back either. Careful, Bob. Don't tempt me. Let's just get down to business. They're still in that dumb museum, right? That's right. The car hasn't moved from the lot. We can wait here until they come out and grab them. Without the car, they could have escaped in some other direction. Nah, I won't run the risk of having them get away again. Let's go after them. You wait here, Bob, and watch to see if the cops show up. Okay, Gustav. Whatever you say. Well, I had to leave the doctor alone so she could pay full attention to restoring the crucifix. But it's been a while now, and being as enthused as she was after drinking that coffee, I'm sure the crucifix is all finished. So, I'm going in. Man, it looks like the doctor is completely out of it. But I see she managed to finish restoring the crucifix. Excellent. It certainly needed polishing. Oh, looks like new. Hmm, this is interesting. Now I'm sure we can find out where it came from and what it's for. I better go to the lab right away and use the scanner to check out the crucifix. What a weird night! Are you guys friends of Clive's too? First came that hot babe with Brian the Dweeb Man. Who I have nothing against, of course. He may be a nerd, but he's a nice guy. And now you guys, man! By the way, what are those get-ups you're wearing, man? And you know what? It's about time I found out what that is. Let's see if I can figure out how to work the fancy scanner. So, the crew. 
crucifixes of Hopi origin. The Hopi are a Native American tribe that lives in Arizona. Great. That is an important piece of information, but I'm starting to understand this whole story less and less. The materials that the crucifix is made of aren't valuable at all. And even though it's probably of some historical value, it'd never be worth killing people over. There must be something else behind the story of this crucifix. Brian, quick, follow me. It's Gina. She's in danger. I'm sorry, Brian. No! You told me you wouldn't hurt me if I handed it over to you. No! As you can imagine, this is when things got really out of control. Luckily, those guys were interested in knowing what we'd found out. Otherwise, I doubt they'd have let us live. Of course, that blow to the head knocked me out, and I didn't know what was going on for quite a while. When I came to, I realized that we were flying in a helicopter. My head ached and pounded, and when Gina told me what happened to Clive, well, I felt absolutely awful to know they'd done away with him. I couldn't stop thinking that if I hadn't gone to the museum that night, he'd still be alive. I did my best to get over it and decided that feeling sorry for him would get us nowhere. The sad truth was that I'd have the same fate as Clive if I didn't come up with a plan. The instinct for survival and a desire for revenge took over my thoughts, and I totally forgot about Clive. A bit later, the helicopter began to descend. I could see we were landing in a desert area in the middle of what looked like an old oil field. We were taken out of the helicopter and put inside of an old cabin. It was pretty obvious they were mainly interested in Gina. As soon as we got in the cabin, they tied her to a chair and started to beat the living daylights out of me. They put me to sleep once again with a well-aimed pistol whip at the back of my neck. When I woke up, I was all turned around and I thought my head was going to explode. Those wretched thugs smacked me up good. I swear these insane murderers are gonna pay for this. On top of it all, they stole everything I had on me. My wallet, my car keys, my piece of amber, everything. I'll try to get my stuff back. But the first thing I've gotta do is find out what they've done with Gina and try to get out of this huge mess in one piece. There's a fairly large crack in the middle of the door. You're not expecting that pipsqueak over there to get you out of this mess, are you? He's such a sissy. I only hit him twice, and he was on the floor like a sack of potatoes. Tell us, Andretti's they have nothing to worry about, because I don't plan on mentioning what happened in the storm at the club. Really, I value my life too much. We know Johnny was talking to you at the club before we got there. You tell us what he told you, and you can leave this place in one piece. Leave me alone. You're just a bunch of filthy murderers. I have to help Gina. Those animals are capable of doing anything. Okay, that was a long scene once again, but... They, they did it for me. They killed Willie. Woo! Sorry. <laughs> I know, I know. Unfortunately, he died and whatnot, but... After I rant, I'm pretty happy. Um, anywho, um... Yeah, which... You know, I forgot what I was going to say during the entire like little intro because of the death of Willie just made me exhilarated. I shouldn't be exhilarated about death, but I totally am. <laughs> yeah, so we're in the desert and actually one thing I remember, clearly they have not played Broken Sword. You know, just saying. Little item equals big end of the world chin dig that may happen. Just saying. Anywho. So we need to try to find a place to a way to escape. Clearly, this man can see without his glasses, so I'm assuming he is near the side of far. The one that you could, you can't see close, but you can see far. My assumption, but I see his glasses there, so we're gonna take a look. They're mine, but those jerks broke them. I'm lucky I only have a slight case of myopia in each eye. I really use glasses as a precaution more than a necessity. Okay, clearly he's not blind. Like I am. Ugh, let's pick them up. Worthless. Besides the shattered lenses, the frames have been split in two. 
Have you not seen an episode of MacGyver or any place where anything can be used as a means of getting in and out and combining? Uh, let's go get the door. I have to help those animals are capable of doing anything. Let's open no the door. Way. If those apes find out that I've regained consciousness, they'll put me back to sleep. Okay, well, I saw this, so I assume we got to pick it up. What? This is my shirt! Those jerks tore it to shreds! You'll be okay, it didn't suit you anyways. We couldn't even sell this at a secondhand store. No, but we can use it. I guess not. Um, let's see, what... Yeah, sure. One of those blower thingies that people once used to get the fire to burn hotter. I may be needing this. I'm gonna guess we may have to start a fire, possibly. There's such a thick layer of dust, I can hardly see through it. It's one of those windows that just doesn't open. Wouldn't do me much good anyway with the bars that are covering it. Hmm. It's a pretty old model. Let's I use only it. wish, but it won't work. The cable's been ripped out. Okay, well I see this is pretty out of place. Looks like we're gonna have to pick that up. all-purpose cleanser okay let's pick it up I'll take it with me but there's no way I'm cleaning this pigsty up um but I bet you we can use it on the window you won't get anywhere doing it. oh fine it's just filled with junk most of it's all old and worn out I don't see anything I'm interested in okay it's just most of it Oh, crowbar. It's made of iron, so... We could totally take that. I totally skipped that dialogue, but you guys know I totally take it. Yeah, this should come in handy. Okay, what else? It's a chamois. This might come in handy. Chamois are pretty wonderful. I think it's one of the pegs from the coat rack on the wall. Okay, well, I definitely want to take that. This might come in handy. Um. And clearly we have to go through this, or look at this, but I'm not going to quite yet. I want to make sure I get everything else. The glass is so filthy the light can barely get through. Well, we clearly need to clean it, and it looks like it's going to reflect some light onto this. So we're going to look bubbles, at it. The soft drink preferred by more Americans. Sounds terrifying. It weighs a ton. There's no way I can get it to move if it's full. Yeah, so we have to empty it with a shine light. But uh, the fresh bu bubbles reminds me of a drink that was Canada only back in the day, called Orbits. Um, clear and I had these little little beads that would be in the suspended in the water it was more like a gel of some sorts and it was a drink I remember drinking them I it, it was okay <laughs> um, but anywho, apparently you can still find them do I want to try them again no never Anywho, uh, I see a plug so let's check that out plugged in and seems to work since the freezer is on so clearly you need to unplug it. I don't see any reason for doing that I do <laughs> You need to move this, but okay. Let's clean the window. Yes, it might be a good idea to clean the window pane off so that the sun comes in. But I need something to wipe it off with. We have the something you can wipe it all with. Where do we have to combine it? Done. Now the chamois can be used for cleaning. Since he can't do it himself. Okay, that way I can get the sun to come in through the window. Let's wipe it clean. Wow, hard to believe the layer of dirt on there. Let the sun shine in! Yeah, we have to move the freezer or something like that. Now the glass is clean, I can see outside a little bit. Although the only thing in view from here is the desert. So can we move this? <clears throat> it weighs a ton! No. Um, you know what guys, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed my little 
agitation, a little grumpiness, and getting forward in this game, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, as usual, like, comment, let me know how you guys think about the of the game, or what you guys think about it, and subscribe as well. Um, I appreciate if you guys subscribe. Oh, I'll get on with it. Uh, I appreciate you guys when appreciate when you guys subscribe and those words that are getting jumbled. You guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you later.